Hey ladies, how are you? I'll give you a few minutes to start um, chiming in and logging in. Um, I'm so, so, so happy um, to be doing this today. I'm, my spirit is just so happy right now. And I had to do this at 8 p.m. today. I know it's 8.02, sorry for the two minutes. Um, but um, give, let's give a few minutes for a couple other women to, um, to go ahead and log in. As we see the numbers um, coming in, I just wanna make sure that we have the masses so that um, this online meeting, um, and that's what I'm calling it, a meeting will be successful and effective. Um, no, no need of um, just doing something and not um, making an impact when we do it. So um, listen, feel free to chime in, feel free to, um, to make your comments there. Uh, also ladies, for the ladies who are up here from yesterday, um, there's gonna be a part where I need you to go ahead and type in um, what, what I'm, to fill in the blank. And you should know this from yesterday. I just wanna make sure I'm just testing my ladies, making sure we're on the same page. Um, we, got, we got a number, you got ladies coming in, not guys. But guys are welcome. If you're, guys, you're in there, stay in. Don't, don't, don't get out, I'm not excluding you. I'm not excluding you. You're, you're definitely part of it. So, um, you know, go ahead and, and share, 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 share. I saw the tags when I made the post in today and I said to share and tag ladies. My ladies were on it. You guys were on it. I just love it. I just love it. Um, uh, let's see. We're just waiting a couple more coming in. All right. All right. I think I think we're good. I'm good. And I'm so glad that we're nice and prompt, right? <laughs> All right. So I just want to just recap a little bit um, about yesterday and the um, mastermind that we had. I the last thing that I ever want to do is to create something and it be like everything else. Um, that is the worst thing that can happen as far as I'm concerned. Um, I need that the conferences that we do, these mastermind events that we do, for them to be effective. I want them to be life-changing. And in order for that to happen, there has to be more follow-up, there has to be um, more of the sisterhood uh, connecting and things like this, these meetings like this. Um, I don't want to just be ordinary. And what happens with these conferences that you go to, you may travel all over the world. I know Florida is notorious for having the best con conferences. But you go down to Florida, you go to the conference, you pay these big bucks, you stay in a hotel, you get all hyped, you get all happy, and then you go home, you get happy, and then next week is back to business as normal. And nothing changed in your life. I can't have that happen under my watch, ladies. This is going to be something different. Once we make a decision to change our mindset, change our habits, it's gonna change our outcomes, we sticking with it. We're gonna hold each other accountable. That's why we're having these meetings right here, just sort of remind you of your mission and your purpose. Uh, you know, I was so inspired to, to create um, this meeting tonight after um, I saw a post in that Johanna did. Um, and they, ladies, all my ladies, everybody was just posting fabulous things about the conference, about the masterminding event yesterday. I know it was a little um, different, unorthodox maybe, uh, but I think it was very powerful. Uh, loved all of the texts, all of the tags, all of the postings, and lady, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Uh, one of the postings stuck out to me only because it was a collaboration and it was... Um, something that happened as a result of the event on yesterday. And basically, um, Johanna contracted with um, Janiqua, I think it is, Janiqua, who was also at the event to have her, um, you know, um, purchase or make some cupcakes, some desserts, not cupcakes, she has like specialized desserts. And then I saw Talani was tagged on that as well. Do you know that sounds so little, but let me tell you that just stir my spirit up heavily because that's the mission. That's my overall mission. And I didn't necessarily share everything and I, you know, and I'll put it in layers, but the mission is basically to create a sisterhood. You hear me, ladies? This is why I need to talk to you. It's a sisterhood. A sisterhood where we support one another. We we don't we don't do the crabs in the barrel. That's for that listen. That's that's old, it's tired, it's worn out. We support one another, we invest in one another. We you you know what? 
Johanna was probably going to buy some desserts anyway. But the fact that she chose a sister and the lady who was in the Miss Millionaire Mindset Mastermind speaks volumes because that is what I'm going after. Listen, we have a buying power women that you wouldn't even freaking believe. $1.8 trillion buying power. Do you know how powerful that is? $1.8 trillion with a T. We will shut down the United States of America if we ever got together. And that is the movement that I'm going after. That's the movement movement I'm going after. I'm, I'm not going after the normal stuff. I'm about to break the back of poverty and we're going to do it together. Yesterday we learned that poverty is not necessarily about money. It's about a mindset. If you change your mindset, you change your outcomes, change your habits. And we talked about every action has a consequence, whether good or bad, whether now or later, and it doesn't just affect you. Every habit has a consequence. We're going to change our habits so that we can get positive consequences. Those negative habits, not saving, talking about your sister, being a hater, spending your money outside of your community, those are bad habits. We're about to flip this thing. We're going to keep our money right here. We're going to lift up our sister and we're going to create positive habits that are going to create positive outcomes that will create financial freedom. I know what I'm talking about. And the other thing that we talked about, um, the movement is, ladies, again, understand the movement is to break the curse of poverty. And ladies who were at that conference, you guys get ready to start taxing and time, chiming in the, what I'm about to say, the last part. Ladies, you get ready. If you are dependent, you already know where I'm going, ladies. If you are dependent solely, now nothing's wrong with it being in the equation, but if you are dependent solely on your job, you are in a state of what? Ladies, I'll give you a minute to start hitting it. What are you in the state of? All right, there we go. It's a state of emergency. Emergency. Life, you got to have multiple streams of income. Ladies, listen to me. If you don't hear anything else I say, listen to me. We are in a state of emergency. A state of emergency. Multiple streams of income. No job, no company, no person should have that much power over you to control your money. Control your family outcomes. If they give you a pink piece of paper and lay you off, that's a problem. But guess what? You created that problem because you decided. Decided to, to depend on one source of income. We are breaking the back of poverty, multiple streams of income, and you have everything already in you to birth those things. Don't sleep on your talents. Don't sleep on your gifts. We got to give birth to this thing, ladies. We know when we give birth, guess what? It hurts. It's painful. It's uncomfortable. You want it over. But when you push through that birth, you give birth to a child. You give birth to the thing that you love the most on this earth. So it's worth fighting for. It's worth fighting for. It's worth fighting for. Listen, there's no such thing as job security. That is the biggest lie society has ever given us. We are in a state of of emergency, multiple streams of income. There is no job security. The only job security you have is when you sign your own paychecks because you won't lay yourself off. Don't look, don't get fooled by the hype. Don't let society change your thought process. We are in this Miss Millionaire mindset, uh, this Miss Millionaire mindset movement. And I'm not just Miss Millionaire mindset. We're all Miss Millionaire mindsets. It's a movement, baby. It's a movement. Listen, I am so, I, I have so much in me. And this, I, we got to keep this thing pushing. We got to keep this thing pushing. And so I was able to um, figure out when our next one is going to be. It's going to be August 13th. Mark your calendars right now. August 13th. August 13th. And it's going to be at the same location, 8 Cold Street in New Haven. Um, later today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to post um, the location, not the location, but the link so that you can get the tickets um, on for eight, August 13th. And I saw all these people hitting me up on Facebook and social media. You want to get the next event, and next event, and next event. You hear it first. I didn't even put it out there. And the reason why I'm putting it first to my ladies, because you guys were here on yesterday. 
You guys understand what happened yesterday. And my girl Tanisha, whom I grew up with, called the iconic. It, that is crazy. And it was, you know what? Let me tell you. Your future is worth this investment, worth fighting for, and never losing focus. You can't lose focus, ladies. Multiple streams of income. And I know you're going to say how you do it. And that's the purpose of these masterminds because we feed off of one another. I'm not going to get you all hyped up just so you can be hyped up and not give you a plan. We're going to develop this plan so that we can break the back of poverty. All right, ladies. Uh, one more time, I'm going to let you hit it one more time. If you are dependent solely, now I'm not saying nothing wrong with depending on your job, but if you dependent solely on that job, you are in a state of what? Go ahead and start typing. There you go. Listen, Saturday, August 13th is going to be the next Miss Millionaire Mindset Masterminding event. And I listened to the feedback. The feedback, and I, I read the feedback, positive feedback. Somebody made a posting about, not a posting, but a note about having a networking piece. So the one on the 13th, we will definitely have a networking piece. Ladies, we're in this together. You help build me. I help build you. This is a movement. Um, also, I want to make sure that uh, next Saturday, um, a week, next Saturday, that's coming up, I think it's June 11th or 12th, whatever that Saturday is. Uh, two o'clock outside my office, 390 Whaley Avenue. I'm having a community classroom for real estate investing with Jay Morrison, who is the multi-million um, dollar real estate investor, three-time felon. He's also my business partner. We're working and collaborating on some things. He's powerful. Come on out, ladies. And listen, ladies, this is why I'm asking of you. If you come out there, please come and represent hard. If you have your Miss Millionaire Mindset t-shirts, represent hard. Come out. On the corner, Whaley, Norton, wear your Miss Millionaire Mindset t-shirts and represent. All right, so listen, I'm going to bring it back. We got August 13th. And we know next Saturday we, we're going to meet at 390 Whaley Avenue on the corner, Whaley and Norton from 2 o'clock. And I think we'll be done at 4. But listen, we cannot forget what we're doing. This is a movement. This is not a one-time event. And ladies, remember um, yesterday in the event... Ali, get ready, please. Yesterday in the event, we had I had you read the songs, right? And we talked about the importance of what we put in our spirit and the importance of the things that we listen to. And so this song has been in my spirit for about a week or so, and I played it yesterday. But I'm about to play it again just so you could be remembered about what you're fighting for. Go ahead. There you go, ladies. You know what it's about. Listen. That's why I'm pressing towards the mark. Cause the calling on my life is worth fighting for. Keep my mind. You guys do it. Stay on you, Jesus. Cause the peace it brings peace is worth fighting for. Come on. You guys, you know it, brother. Because what, ladies? Cause your family worth fighting for. That we're fighting for. You already know. Come on. Mm, mm. Post, ladies, post. It's worth fighting for. It's worth fighting for. I got a mansion over in glory. Come on, ladies. You already know. You know what you're fighting for. You know what you're fighting for. It's a state of emergency, baby. Come on. Post it, ladies. Let's go. Yes, it's worth fighting for. Those dreams, those visions, they're worth fighting for. Yes, they're worth fighting for. Yes, birth them, baby. Birth them. It's worth fighting for. Come on, come on. Come on. It's a movement. This ain't normal. I know it ain't normal. I've never been normal. I wasn't normal then. I'm not normal now. And we got a movement, baby. It's worth fighting for. This ain't for the people that's gonna fold. If you want it, you gotta go after it. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. Eyes, ears, ain't even hear what you're about to do, baby. Come on. They ain't see how you're gonna make it. They ain't hear about how you made it yet. But you're about to do it. Tanisha, you're about to work it, baby. 
Jay Hanna, you about to get it, baby. Talini and Talani, you about to work it, baby. Melissa, you about to have it, baby. Y'all better come on. Ladies, where you at? Lakeisha, I know you up there, honey. You got something to fight for? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Love you, ladies. There's so much we fighting for. Love you. Love you. August 13th. I'm going to post it in a little bit, and I need you to sell the place out. Bring the sisters. You know what we fighting for. Peace, ladies. Let it keep playing. Give me a